Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Pretty much at this point, we've got content going out every 48 hours. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything that we are putting out, right? So don't stay stuck with your business. Now, if you want to get in contact with me to discuss your business or discuss anything that I'm about to talk about today, there's two ways you can do that. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I see where you are with your business, see where you want to get to, and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to, to grow and scale. Or you can send me an email. I check all my emails every single day and I respond to coaches straight away. So send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, so today I want to talk about how to charge $500 plus dollars per month for one-to-one -one training. So I want to be completely clear here. Now, the figure I'm about to talk about today is on average what the coaches in our Sports Accelerator program are charging per month uh, for one-on-one -on -one training. So if you want to learn more about our Accelerator program, again, two ways to co connect with me, either book a, book a Zoom call where we can discuss more about it, or you can either send me an email and I'll be able to give you more information about our business coaching program. So most of the coaches we are working with currently are averaging anywhere between 500 plus dollars per month for one-to-one -one training. Now, Ben, who is the owner and founder of Make Money Coaching Sports, uh, in his training business, when, when he was doing sessions, uh, he was he was charging anywhere between six to eight hundred dollars per month for one on one training. OK, now, most of the coaches watching this are going to think to themselves, that is crazy. That's impossible. You can't do it. OK, now we can show you some testimonials. We can show you some success stories if you get in contact with us will be able to show you proof of how coaches are doing this with in our program. Okay. So it is possible. I myself have done it. Okay. And like I said, Ben as well, who I work with, he has done it as well. So it is possible. And it comes down to how much value your one-on-one -on -one training provides to the client. So when there's value, you can charge more for your service. If parents feel that your, your service is really valuable, they will pay for, for it, okay? Because essentially what you have to do is you have to provide a really high-end type of service. You have to solve a specific problem, okay? And you have to deliver and over-deliver on what you promised, okay? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through a breakdown, step-by-step -step breakdown of how you can do this in, in your business, right? And I want to be completely clear that it's not easy getting up to these figures. It's not easy. Most coaches think, oh, I can, I can charge, you know, I can charge that straight away and not have any systems in place. Now that's wrong because you do need systems. You also need to have success stories you need to have testimonials you need to have proof that you have achieved results with clients no parent is going to want to pay you what you know the the figure i'm showing you here in front of me right but most parents are going to look at that and think that's ridiculous how can you charge that okay but when you break down your program when you deliver results when you provide extreme value parents will pay for it okay as i said coaches we work with they're currently doing this right now ben has done it i have done it okay so it can be done right by is a step-by-step -step process you need to have systems in place you need to have success stories you need to be able to demonstrate that you're an expert a specialist and that you're solving a specific problem Okay, so I want to go through this little bit step by step. Don't want to make this too long, okay? Because essentially, what I want you to do is, if you need more help with this, I want you to get in contact with me so we can get on on a call and and discuss this further, right? So the first one is 
soon as a parent reaches out, okay, you have to be professional with how you reach out to parents and how your business is set up. So most of the coaches we work with, what they do is they have intro calls with parents and everything is done via Zoom. Okay. If a parent is committed and they're willing to invest that amount of money to train with you, they will jump on a Zoom call with you. Okay. Because they want a problem solved. Now, when I was doing one on one training, Okay, what I tended to do is I didn't open this up to everyone. I only wanted to have a specific number of parents who were paying me a, a premium for one-on-one -on -one training. And the reason is because one-on-one -on -one training, it is time consuming. It is a lot of personal attention you have to give to the client. And it's difficult, right? It, it really is. It is difficult and it can become very repetitive. It can become very tiring. So what I did is I limited the number to the, to anywhere between three to five clients who were paying me a, a high-end type of uh, price for this one-on-one -on -one training, okay? So the first step was always a, an intro call with parents via Zoom. This was an opportunity for me as the trainer to ask questions, see where their child is at, see what problems they, they're currently having. And also I discussed the, the commitment that our pro program required. Okay, it wasn't a program where you just show up once a week and that's it, okay? Because if that was the case, then there was no way parents were gonna pay me that amount of money for just that, not a chance, okay? So I had to demonstrate what the commitment was, what was the expectations for parents and players that committed to this. And what was the return on investment? So in three, six or nine months time, once we finished our program, what's going to be the end result for my child? Okay. And I was able to, you know, deliver on that because I myself had to be committed to, to it. And parents had expectations as well. Okay. Because if you're investing that amount of money into a coach or trainer, you expect results. So you have to be able to deliver on, on what you promise, right? So the next step, once we've had our intro record, once we talked about the commitment, we then try and close them onto an evaluation session. Most of my one-on-one -on -one sessions were one hour, okay? But what I did for the evaluation session, I made it shorter. So this was only a 15 to 20 minute session. And what I did is I treated this as a way of just seeing what the parents were like in terms of punctuality, were they arriving on time, how the player was committed, were they arriving in, in the correct uniform, correct equipment, uh, what were they like, training, okay? can they follow instructions, do they work hard, uh, how do they interact with me, and I was able to, to see that within 20 minutes, and if I felt, do you know what, this player is good, he's a good fit, then the next step would be we get on a second call, ideally on Zoom, and this is where I would send the contract to the parents, right? So the next bit would be we jump on a second Zoom call, and on that Zoom call, I send over the, the contract to parents, and I talk about the contract over the call, right? So I share my screen, the parent, the player, they both, they can both see the contract in front of them, we go through step by step what is included, what is expected, not just from them as clients, but me as a trainer, what I'm going to promise to, to do, to deliver. And once they've agreed to it, okay, then I email it over, I send them the contract. Once they've signed that contract, right, they send it back to me. Once I've looked, for, looked over it, I've seen that it's signed, uh, I've received it. The next step is we get them registered. What I make it clear is I make it clear that no player becomes a member of my program until that contract is back and it's received. So no parent is allowed to make a payment unless that contract is signed and agreed with everyone that needs to sign and agree it, okay? Once the contract's all good, it's signed, then I send them the link which is always going to be online. And what, what I do is I always set up a, a direct debit so that 
that payment is coming out every single month, depending on what their contract is on. So if it's three months, you know, they're going to have a direct debit going out once every month for three months. If it's six months, same. And uh, what I started to do now, especially with one-to-one -one training, is I charge parents up front. Okay. And what I do is I offer them a discount if they if they choose to pay up front. Okay. If they choose the monthly option, then I make it a little bit more expensive. But essentially, what I want to do now in my business is I get parents to pay me up front for the training. Once I've done that, okay, we part of the contract is the set day, set time for training. That's non-negotiable. Okay, those are the, the days and times that I can do my training. I'm a very busy person, okay, and I train a lot of players during the week. So I can't be changing my schedule week by week. And I make this very clear to parents. And if parents agree with it, then that is the set day, set time we're going to do training. If I have to cancel it for whatever reason, then we make we we have a makeup session. Okay, but if parents need to cancel because there's a there's an emergency or whatever, they have to let me know 48 hours before uh, before our training session that they they will be cancelling. Okay, now if they unless it's a, a an emergency where someone you know is about to die. You know, and I say that very, um, you know, quite seriously because a lot of parents and something I've found with parents is a lot of parents like to lie. Okay, so as if that is the case, if it's a, an extreme emergency that you know it's something unexpected, then I I might make an exception depending on how they've been as a client. If they've been a really good client, if they've been very consistent, then. I'll let it I'll let it slide. But if they've been a client that has not shown much commitment and they do that, then we don't make the decision up. Okay. So, but I make it completely clear and that is part of my, my contract that you can only cancel up to 30, uh, 48 hours before our training day. Okay. Now, also part of the program is accountability. So I make it clear that even though you'll see me once a week. That our training doesn't stop. Okay, that you're gonna be your child's gonna be set homework on a regular basis. He's gonna be asked to do certain things that need to be completed. And essentially, there's two. Well, I have three. Uh, I call them lives. Okay, so once those three lives are lost, then the contract gets terminated and the player is released from the program. I, I make this really, really strict because one-on-one -on -one training consists, you know, it takes up a lot of my time and I don't want my time to be wasted. You know, a lot of people are going to be watching this video and thinking, oh, this guy's a bit, he's a bit full on. But, you know, if you are very busy during the week and you train a lot of players, you need to be strict with the, the way you spend your time. Okay, And if your clients aren't on that level, then that's okay, right? That's okay because you might then train a client that is going to accept it. They are, go they are going to understand that, right? And they will become a good client, okay? So this is the next bit is adding value off the field, okay? And this is the bit where this is your value of the program. Now, with my program, with one-on-one -on -one training, okay, the ways I add more value on a monthly basis is players get set homework every single week that has to be in on a certain day and time okay so if i see my player if i see my one-on-one -on -one client on on a monday evening okay i make sure that that homework is set and that ha and it has to be in before uh, wednesday 8 p.m okay and if that homework isn't in before 8 p.m., then essentially they lose a life and they've got two lives left. Okay, so homework. Now, the homework bit, it could be anything. It could be watching a, a match and creating a report on it. It could be reading a book, a coaching book. It could be reading a journal. It could be, you know, uh, I don't know, 
so, some of the homework I do, I set them skill specific homework where they have to do it and the parent has to record them training, right? Doing the skill. Okay. So it could be anything, but this is what, this is accountability and this is where they're going to get better when they're not with you. Right. The next one is game analysis reports. So game analysis reports, I do it two ways. Number one, I go and watch one of their matches per month and I provide them with a report on how they did during the game. And, and essentially what I do is I get the parent and child on, on a Zoom call and we break down how they did during that game. And the second one is the player themselves have to complete a report. Right, so the player themselves have to, uh, what I do is I, I create a, um, a Google form and on that Google form, I send them the link, they complete it and then I get the results back and then we go over it at our ne ne uh, upcoming training session, okay? So game analysis, also online tra training program. So if you are a coach that has an online training program, you can implement that as part of your, your in-person training. Okay. And that essentially is going to do the work for you. So you see your clients once a, once a week, then you can create a program online that they do when they're away from you for the, the remaining days up until your training session. Okay. I make it really clear to par to parents and players that the work that you do away from the field Okay, is going to show when when I next see you. Okay, so players have to get into the habit of, you know, you have to train away from training. You have to put some type of work in, in order to get results. Okay, one hour per week training with me isn't going to make a massive difference. So you have to put in the work away from the field. Right, so if you have an online training program, that's fantastic. Today, you know, you've got Zoom as well. Um, not so, sorry, not Zoom. You've got YouTube. Thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube. You can create a program that they have to follow. Okay, you can grab different videos. Tuesday, you're going to watch this video. You're going to complete that homework. Uh, Wednesday, you're going to watch this video, complete that. Thursday, you're going to watch this video, complete that. Okay. So you can create your own training program online by using other coaches material that they have already put out there on YouTube, or you can create your own online uh, program yourself okay, and sell that also individually, or you can have that be part of your one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, the next one is workshop or events. Okay. Now, two things I have offered that adds more value is number one, we do a Zoom call together. So all my one-on-one -on -one clients jump on a Zoom call and we talk about a topic related to performance. So this could be how to build more confidence, how to build, a, how to become a better, a more skillful player. Could be how to lead an athletic lifestyle away from the field, how to avoid injury, uh, the importance of hydration, nutrition. Right, so... What I tend to do is I offer these once a month and it's a set day, set time. All my one-on-one -on -one clients who are on this type of package, they can log in and it's essentially a 30 minute call on Zoom. We talk about a, a topic, we get, we do like a group exercise together and okay, sometimes I even set them homework that they have to complete for a certain day, so a certain set day, set time. Okay. Then events, right? Something I also like to do as, as an event is all my higher end uh, clients, we go and watch or do an activity together, right? Sometimes we might go and watch a, a men's soccer game, right? In our local area, if there's a team playing, okay, that's all part of the, the program, okay? And we use it as kind of an educational experience, or we do an activity that has nothing to do with soccer or football. Okay, we might do bowling or we might go to an adventure park. Um, some, some type of team building exercise that is exclusive only to my one-to-one -one clients. Okay, so it's a, it's a 
completely in-person experience, right? It's a high-end type of service and there's a, a lot of value that is added on top of our one training session per week. Okay, so if you need any help with this, again, get in contact with me. Two ways to do that, either for a Zoom call, go, visit the Candly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call there, or you can jump on, uh, sorry, you can send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Send me questions and I'll get back to you straight away. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.